Wings, Mr. Santa Claus. I need new wings. Not fancy wings. Just plain Jane, low rent, barely bent, homegrown, bare bone, off the shelf, two part Kmart, no frills, flappers. They would be an improvement over my own. As your record should show, I am a bird. Specifically, Penguin, an embarrassing accident of birth, for which I do not blame my mother. I, I prefer to blame Congress. For the first time in my life, I have a request for your plumpness. Let me start by telling you about my life lately. In fact, just this morning, Before this one, it was plain that a penguin can say the word fly, but he simply cannot do it. <coughs> Why don't penguins have wings that work? This? They call this a wing? This is a bad joke. This is built-in obsolescence. I'm an Edsel. I might as well be a dung beetle or a fly-infested, worm-infused, molded, mildewed scrub of rotten banana. Or a network executive. A bad day for flying, anywho. No lift, heavy ozone, plus too many stupid cats during the takeoff roll. Oh. Got a little perspiration on your puss there, Billy Boy. You also have a rubbish can up to your nether regions. <laughs> Whew, you smell like last week's Brussels sprouts. I suggested that you move into the recyclables can, didn't I? Some years ago, Father Christmas, I rescued old Bill from the University Science Lab. They replaced his brains with tater tots. I have no need for a sidekick, sir. But still, he'd like to be my best buddy. But then stink bugs might like to dance the Watusi in my shorts, too. I mean, you gotta draw the line somewhere. Lately, Father Christmas, my social life hasn't gotten much higher off the ground than my feet. Hey, look, I'm a bird. Oh, I have slipped the soily bonds of earth. <laughs> Honey, I'll be taking lunch on the moon today. <laughs> What's the red thing on the neck? A turbo pop? So where's the exhaust? Don't answer that. <laughs> Note the mighty wings. I suspect they sputter more than flutter. <laughs> They're obviously jealous of my nose. Anybody would be. 
Merry Christmas, Opus! Always a pleasure to run into someone lower on the food chain. <laughs> uh, did you know you have a large rutabaga on your nose? This is my nose. Excuse me, I'm late for my support group. Surely you're not persisting in your flats of fancy, huh? Oh, myself, I am perfectly comfortable with my self-image. Oh, you would not see me trying to fly. I hope not. You're a pig. Rhinoceros. Pig. Rhinoceros. Pig. P-O-R-K. You know, the other white meat. How about a water buffalo? They've been giving out those lobotomy coupons in the little friskies again. Phew. Well, I appreciate your support on the way to my uh, support group. Now wait outside and please try not to give anybody rabies. <laughs> You're late, Mr. Opus. Everyone's waiting. There was a rhinoceros on 2nd Avenue. Uh-huh. Save it. Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to welcome a new member to our group. Opus, please introduce yourself. Hello. My name is Opus, and, uh, I am a, uh, a, a flubaholic. Hello, Opus. Hello, Opus. I accept that my life has become ruled by an obsessive need for flight. I... Albatross! Just be glad your wife didn't leave you for an albatross! Good, George. Confront your feelings. My puny kiwi wings weren't good enough for Dolores. Oh, no, no. She had to have an albatross! With great, big, long wings. He was on hormones. You heard me read my beak. Hormones! Uh, oh. maybe we shouldn't be confronting those particular feelings. Speaking of feelings, darn if I don't feel like a Boeing 747. I'm cleared for takeoff. Whoa. Good. Oh. Let's confront our feelings about that one. So what if they're small? Some women prefer small wings. What did Dolores want? Quantity or quality? She wants them big. Marry the space shuttle, you shrew! Space shuttle? Watch it! Oh, my Dolores. So thank you. Now we're getting somewhere. Pull up and out of here! Zoom! Excuse me, is this cockroach cross dresses in crisis? Yeah, Zoom! Oh, I want to talk to the colonel! At this point, Father Christmas, there is only one option for a penguin whose wings only sputter. I was compelled to take the laws of physics into my own hands. I became... an aeronautic vigilante.
Alas, Father Christmas, my brief career as an aeronautic vigilante was over, as was my patience. That's it. My cup runneth over with cat!